Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we are finally getting around to the new track by Skinned. Now normally I am right on top of all of Skinned's releases, you know I normally do them immediately after they've come out. Um, but of course, the beginning because it was the beginning of the month, I had my Patreon request and they get priority over every other suggestion or video that I want to make. Um, so... You know, I had to leave Skinned um, for another time. But we're finally getting to it today. Now, I've managed to avoid looking at this track, avoid listening to it, I've managed to completely avoid this track completely. But this track is different in one major respect to every other track. You know, up until now, there have been, what, 13, 14 other tracks that they've released, and every single one of them has either been the name of the serial killer or the criminal, it's either been, or it's been the name of the uh, the victim in the, um, you know, in examples like Elisa Lam and uh, Bianca Devins, or it's been the collective name for what happened, such as uh, Columbine or Heaven's Gate, which wasn't necessarily the collective name, that was the name of the cult. You know, so it, all the titles have been directly and, you know, obviously connected to whatever they are. This one, however, is called Violets Are Blue. Now, I'm sure there must be a a link somehow to the crime but it's not a very obvious one this is the most obscure track title that we've had from skinned so far but what it is the song is about uh luca roco roco magnotta i believe that's how his name is pronounced uh who is who was 32 at the time of said crime i'm not sure exactly when this took place 2012 i think um but uh, Luca Magnotta uh, is a Canadian murderer and animal abuser who killed, dismembered, and ate Chinese student Jun Lin, um, whom he met after Lin responded to a Craigslist ad created by Magnotta in 2012. Luca then filmed himself murdering Lin, edited, edited it, and added music from the film American Psycho, which is actually a great film. He then sent six packages containing Jun Lin's body parts to various children's schools and even some political party headquarters. And that's just messed up. Uh, he then flew to France uh, and from there he fled into Germany uh, where he was then arrested in Berlin. Now it says here that also uh, Magnotta did star in gay porn and was a prostitute, um, but was very unknown. Uh, the most popular version of media about why he committed his crimes it was his desire to become famous. And this apparently is also the reason why Skinned have not used his name in the title of the track. It's sort of to avoid his name getting popular in the media, you know, they're, they're trying to avoid his name becoming famous, which is what he wanted. You know, all these other uh, serial killers that they've covered, you know, these names have already been made popular over decades, because a lot of them are, like, from... A lot of them have been from, like, 70s, early 80s sort of thing. A lot of the murderers we've looked at... Well, Skinned have looked at, should I say. With, with some exceptions. You know, so... They're purposefully going out of their way not to name drop him, it seems. So, uh, yeah. I'm interested as to why it's called Violets or Blue. I'm sure there must be a reason for it. Uh, maybe it's because uh, of the... Well, I don't know. It could be the connection to the schools. You know, it could be something that... He, it might be notes that he put into the packages. I don't actually know very much about... Um, about this. So, uh yeah so we'll jump into this track and see what we've got i'm very much looking forward to this because like i said we've looked at 13 maybe 14 tracks by skin so far already and all of them have been excellent and i think after after bianca devins heaven's gate and this one are the only tracks that i don't 
you know, I wasn't familiar with because obviously I heard Bianca Devins played when I went to Bloodstock, which is the first time I heard it, so I knew there was that track. But Heaven's Gate and this one are, I'm very unfamiliar with. Uh, but then I was unfamiliar with all of them when I first checked them out, so that's a pretty stupid statement, really. Anyway, I'm just talking bollocks now. So we'll jump into this track and see what we've got. I have got lyrics here, which I'm hoping are going to be correct. So let's have a look at this. But before we do that, if you could just take a moment to like and subscribe if you haven't already, it would really, really help me out. You know, I've been doing this for about six years and not even not even 3% of people watching my videos are actually subscribed, which is, you know, a little disheartening because I put a lot of time and effort into this. But, you know... If you could like and subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything, it takes a fraction of a second, and it would make the biggest difference to me and the channel. But anyway, with that being said, let's jump into this track and see what we've got. So this is Violets Are Blue by Skinned. Let's have a look. Everyone is waiting for me. Everyone is longing for me. I need a lot of fish in the mirror. Everything I see is twisted So I gotta shine in the mirror You can never retrieve what's wasted So you gotta look in the mirror Houses are red Violets are blue Wrapping hands and feet and pink tissue paper Send them to you Roses are red Violets are blue The beliefs will really need dental work That's too late in the fire Well, there you go. Violets Are Blue by Skinned. And again, it's another really catchy piece of music by the band. You know, the the lyrics are very clever in Skinned's writing because they always manage to get as much information as they can about what happened. But they always put it across in, I won't say the simplest way. They don't overcomplicate it, you know. They don't make it sort of all pretentious and, you know, using similes and that sort of thing, you know. They, they're just pretty straightforward, direct. This is what happened. This is how it happened. That's it. You know, and all of the music that they put out has been quite catchy. You know, they've 
whether it be like the cadence or the rhythm of the actual track itself or if it's the the music in the background you know it's always quite catchy and in the early days of skinned you know almost the entirety of a track would be done in the distorted affected voice um that i mean if you look at tracks like the gary hyde nick and uh, elisa lamb you know there was very little shall we call it clean vocal in there but over time over the period of the last 13 14 or 15 tracks she started using her unaltered voice a lot more you know obviously there's still the distortion in there because that was like one of the key parts of the sound of the band you know to bring across that creepy factor of the subject matter but you know using her clean unaltered voice a lot more is is a really good thing because she does have an incredibly good and incredibly powerful voice and again you know she uses her voice her clean voice here in a repetition of the chorus so you know that's another good thing about it now the like, like i said this this was about some young bloke i can't remember his bloody name again now luca magnotta magnotta or whatever um you know he murdered someone basically he wanted to become famous and apparently he wanted to go about it any way he possibly could you know he tried starring in adult movies that didn't get him anywhere so you know maybe he tried other avenues didn't really succeed so he thought you know what best way to get my name known is to do something really extreme that won't be forgotten and i mean i'll be honest i've never heard of the bloke before so obviously it didn't work very well uh, so the track opens up with everyone is waiting for me but i want to look in the mirror everyone is longing for me i need another face in the mirror everything i see is twisted so i gotta shine in the mirror you cannot retrieve what's wasted so you gotta look in the mirror now this sort of talks about his seems to be talking to his personality you know possibly quite vain you know i've got to look in the mirror you know i need to see myself sort of thing possibly but also everyone is waiting for me everyone is longing for for me so you know he's perhaps got this twisted idea that he needs to be seen he needs to be seen by the public he wants to be seen by the public everybody needs to see him you know everyone is longing for me everyone is waiting for me everyone is you know everyone is anxious to see me people need to see me on screen or on whatever you know i need to be famous i need to be seen everybody needs to see me and again you know looking in the mirror you know that sort of vanity of i'm so great i'm so beautiful or whatever people need to see this you know this fine example of a human being that i am sort of thing you know that seems to speak to his personality of being incredibly vain incredibly narcissistic uh, apparently he also did suffer from schizophrenia i think they i think it said um yeah he he did also suffer from paranoid schizophrenia um apparently you know so there is a certain degree of that in there yeah, and there is that line that everything i see is twisted so again that could talk to his uh, schizophrenia you know because it's a very warped sort of thing uh, you cannot retrieve what's wasted that i'm not so sure about or you, that could be you know if you don't give me my chance now if you don't make me famous now you know i'm just going to disappear and you know you're missing out sort of thing maybe um, then it goes into the chorus, and the first version of the chorus is done in the distorted vocal, and then it's done in her, it's repeated again in her clean vocal. Uh, it says, Roses are red, violets are blue, wrapping hands and feet in pink tissue paper, sending them to you. Roses are red, violets are blue, the police will need dental records to identify you. So, you know, roses are red, violets are blue, I'm not entirely sure where that element comes into it, whether whether that was actually a part of the case you know like i said it might have been notes that he put into the packages because from what i can gather from the rest of the lyrics is like he was he sent these packages out to like schools and to like political um headquarters and i think maybe even uh police headquarters at one point you know sending these out taunting them to try and come and get him you know he wants to be known he wants to be seen he essentially wants to be caught you know because he wants to be you know infamous you know he wants his name to forever be etched into the memory of these people for this horrendous thing that he's done 
you know so that could be what you're saying you know wrapping hands and feet in tissue paper sending them to you so he's like sending these packages out to taunt people you know sending them to school so the police will go to the school and it will get reported on the news and whatever you know and he's saying the police will need dental records to identify you so you know he's pretty messed up you know he's he's obviously done some rather insane things to this body like it said he he ate some of the victim Lin uh, it was Lin wasn't it yeah Jun Lin yeah so he, he, I, I don't even want to imagine what state the parts were when he sent them out so again you know that chorus was repeated raises a red violets of blue wrapping hands and feet in pink tissue paper sending to you raises a red violets of blue police will need dental records to identify you uh, keep a secret if you like it don't put the blame on me I'm a leave it where you like it, or the authorities. I'm a park it on the market. This body's not for free. You can stick it where you like it, because you ain't catching me. Uh, this bit I'm not so sure about. You can keep it a secret if you like it. Don't put the blame on me. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm a leave it where you like it, or the authorities. Now that that again sort of suggests to me when he was like sending out these packages to like the schools or like the political party headquarters or whatever you know he's he's sending these things out to you know to get the attention on him you know he's he's taunting essentially uh, I'm a park it on the market this body's not for free uh, that sort of suggests more of his sort of uh, previous sort of prostitution sort of area you know. I'm going to wait around in the market. This body's not for free. You're going to have to pay for it. That could be what he's talking about there. You can stick it where you like it. Now, that could either be a, a sexual suggestion there, or, because the following line says, you ain't catching me, that could be like, you know, you can take whatever it is and you can shove it up your ass, because, you know, you're not getting me. You know, I'm just going to taunt you from a distance. You know, I'm going to make sure everybody knows my name sort of thing, but whatever. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue, wrapping hands and feet in pink tissue paper, sending to you. Roses are red, violets are blue, police will need dental records to identify you. Catch me if you can. So again, this is that taunt. And it goes into this, I suppose you could call it a bridge. It says, it's a cat, cat and mouse game. Come catch me if you can. I do it for the fame. Come catch me if you can. Another fake name. Come catch me if you can. Apartment 208. Come catch me if you can. And then it repeats it again. It's a cat and mouse game. Come catch me if you can. I do it for the fame. Come catch me if you can. Another fake name. Come catch me if you can. Apartment 208. Come catch me if you can. So again, this is, this is again, the taunting, you know. It's a cat and mouse game, you know, chasing each other round and round in circles. You know, catch me if you can, you know, I dare you, you know. I do it for the fame again, you know. He, he wants to be famous, he wants his name to be remembered for years and years and years. Uh, another fake name, that bit I'm not so sure about though, because why would you use a fake name if you want to become famous? That, that bit does sort of throw me a bit. Um, and apartment 208, I'm guessing he's like, this is my address, come get me. I dare you. It seems to be that. And then it goes into this little sort of la 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 bit with the phrase come catch me if you can uh, in the middle of it. Then it goes back into the chorus. Roses are red, violets are blue, wrapping hands and feet in tissue paper, sending that to you. Roses are red, violets are blue, the police will need dental records to identify you. And then it fades out saying roses are red, violets are blue, roses are red, violets are blue, etc. So, you know, it, it pretty much covers, you know, the sort of not necessarily the mental state but the the way this person thinks is sort of like you know i deserve to be famous people deserve to see me people need to see me people want to see me i know they want to see me they will want to see me so you know i'm going to do whatever it takes so that people know me so that people get my name you know it, it really sort of paints a picture of a sort of egocentric sort of person who's determined to do whatever it takes to become famous and to the point where he ends up making this twisted game of cat and mouse you know taunting the police daring them to come catch him you know 
and sending these horrendous parcels to very public places where, where you know they're gonna get high coverage from like news media outlets and stuff like that so you know people are forever going to remember that his name is going to be tied to these things so you know he's, he was pretty much an egocentric little asshat um who just obviously didn't have the skill or talent to become famous and just couldn't handle the fact so he decided to go and kill someone film it post it and then play a game of cat and mouse he, he was a really twisted individual and you know i'm trying to use his name as little as possible as well because obviously you know this is like um i can't remember who else it, who it was i think it was eileen warnos who was you know some of her last words were the fact that they're going to make a film about this or whatever you know because she wanted people to make her fame you know she she wanted it to be seen worldwide what she had done and unfortunately they did end up making a film about it and i refused to watch it because of you know her whole thing of i want people to see this i want people to remember me this that, and the other sort of thing I can't remember what the exact words were, but she did. She mentioned, you know, they're going to make a movie out of this, yada, yada, yada. You know, and I refused to watch the film for the fact that, you know, that's exactly what she wanted. And, you know, here they've they've covered the topic of what happened, but they've specifically gone out of their way not to mention him by name. So, you know, they're purposefully not giving him what he wanted <laughs> which is quite cool because this is some, a lot of people have accused skinned of glorifying serial killers you know sort of romanticizing them and you know s or almost celebrating what they've done and that's farthest thing from the truth you know that that's not what they're doing you know you see these serial killer documentaries all over the tv all the time they're not celebrating or you know romanticizing what these people have done they're pointing out the horrible things they've done they're not saying anything that they've done is good you know so you know people are, people just want to create drama out of anything don't they but anyway you know it's it's another great piece of music by skinned you know and like i said they've released what 15 tracks already they could they could release two albums at this point but they haven't actually released any albums per se they've released they released part one and part two which was two three track eps i think did they do part three i can't remember you know they've done a couple of three track eps but they haven't done a lot like, of com compilation of all of their tracks together so i wonder if they're ever actually going to release an album as it were so, I'd, I'd be interested to see that but you know the music is always very catchy and it's a playlist that i play regularly you know i have the skinned playlist on my computer and on my um alexa you know i have I wasn't talking to you, I was mentioning you. Be quiet. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, and it, it, it gets played regularly because I do enjoy the music. So, yeah, another interesting track. And I'm curious to see what else uh, they come up with because when I was actually looking up information about this track, it did come up mentioning the skin track Eileen Warnos, which isn't a track that's been released. So I wonder if that's one that's coming up soon. Intriguing but i don't know what else i can say on that so i'll leave that as it is uh now if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like or a subscribe if you haven't already because it really really would help me out you know i've been doing this for about six years now and not even three percent of people watching my videos are actually subscribed so you know if you could like and subscribe it makes a huge difference to the channel you know it doesn't cost you anything it takes a fraction of a second but it does make a big difference to me and the channel but um, that's all of it is. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.